So you've heard that your mesh for your molded pulp application should be annealed. But what does that mean? Do I really need to add or keep that in my operation? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hi, I'm Eric Kimes, and I'm the sales manager for Industrial Woven Wire here at WS Tyler. A lot of steps have been taken to get your wire mesh ready for molded pulp applications. One critical step that often gets overlooked is annealing your wire mesh. What does it mean to anneal your wire mesh? And why exactly is it such an important step in the process? WS Tyler has been weaving wire mesh into dozens of industries for over 150 years and has developed expertise heat treating woven wire mesh to accommodate countless applications. So in this video, we'll go over what annealing is, what batch annealing is, what continuous annealing is, and why annealing is critical to molded pulp products and the consequences of not annealing your wire mesh. Annealing is a heat treatment process that lowers the internal stress of each wire in the weave. This causes the mesh to become softer, making it easier to form into pulp molds. Annealing is most commonly carried out using one of two techniques, batch annealing and continuous annealing. Batch annealing involves placing each roll of wire mesh into a specialized capsule and submerging it into a furnace. This capsule is designed to create complete seal and expose the mesh to a vacuum pressure once placed in the furnace. The mesh is often then heated to a specific temperature for a period of time. Once completed, the mesh is removed from the furnace and left out until completely cooled. Continuous annealing involves the wire mesh supplier taking a roll of wire mesh and unrolling it as it passes through an oven-like furnace. Since it is a lot harder to control than batch annealing, the unrolled mesh will typically pass through the furnace several times to ensure a more thorough annealing process. Woven wire mesh is placed on top of a metallic mold and helps facilitate the molded pulp process. When used correctly, the mesh allows optimal water drainage and ensures heat as well as vacuum pressure is distributed evenly. In order to fit snugly on a metallic mold, wire mesh must be deep drawn to take on the profile of the final molded product. While wire mesh is relatively pliable off the loom, capturing finer detail of the mold can be difficult. Annealing ensures your wire mesh can be formed to replicate even the most detailed molds without altering the precision or characteristics of the pore openings of the mesh. Failure to properly anneal your wire mesh intended for molded pulp applications will often lead to a mold springing back. Spring back happens when the wire mesh lacks structural integrity, struggles to hold the form of the molds, and begins reverting to a flatter profile. Annealing wire mesh can also help improve the rigidity of the pore openings. Not annealed mesh will be more sleazy and flimsy, which will impact the fiber retention and ultimately efficiency of your molded pulp process. Put simply, implementing wire mesh that has not been properly annealed can lead to costly inconsistencies in the final molded pulp products. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Eric Himes and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.